Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. In the last episode, we reached the ninja village of Mizuho, which, by the way, if you listen closer to the music, you might even notice that it's the same music that's used in the ninja village in Tales of Fantasia. Coincidence? Probably not. So in this episode, we're gonna we're gonna walk passively aggressively. Let's show him. Freaking. Okay, no, we're actually gonna watch a skit. There's a reason for this. What was that? Cell was lying to us the whole time. What? It was a little unusual, but still just a regular village. I was super excited about it and wound up being so disappointed. Oh, he was lying about the ninja village, I guess. Yeah, I wanted to see the flying carp. Oh, yep, he's been going around spreading his bullshit again. <laughs> Oh, Cellos. Yeah, I wanted to see those flowers that bloom when you sprinkle ash on them. Man, that sounds pretty badass. Me, I wanted to visit that underwater castle that you ride a turtle to. <laughs> oh man, that stupid Chosen, what kind of stories has he been feeding them? I feel like all these stories are some kind of reference to Japanese uh, history or uh, mythology. But I can't really put my finger on which ones, because I'm not really familiar with Japanese mythology. So, cell has got a title in any case, Stupid Chosen. Uh, let's see, how do we check the titles here? Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. like this. And, uh, yeah, Idiot Chosen. Actually, a title given by a friend during the journey. It's not a name given out of spite. It's not a name given out of spite? Hmm. Do I send some chemistry? No, that's probably not the chemistry, that's probably me boiling because it's freaking 500 degrees outside. And it's like, uh, there's no wind either, so it's really, how to say, not humid? Because humid is like, it's like, like watery. No, it's like, um, it's that very thunder, like before the storm type of weather. So it's like it, it could start thundering at any moment. So the, it's like the sun isn't out. It's just cloudy. But there's no fresh air whatsoever. Also, we reached Ozette. Boy, we have to follow her. Yeah! Huh? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Sorry if I'm sniffing a lot today. I don't know why. I just suddenly got a cold. Just, I woke up today, and I was like, not cold, but uh, because of the 500 billion degrees outside. T take note, weren't you all with Persea just now? Are you related to that cursed child? Trust me, you'd best not get involved with her. Also, here's another wanted po poster of Lloyd. Which, uh, you know, I'll, I'll have to say, this one looks better than the last one. Even though the last one was a masterpiece, this one is more so of a masterpiece. So what's said is a very, uh, a very quaint little place. So to say, everybody seems to be very worried about Persea, and, uh, well, I mean, we could just go to bed while Persea's run off. We're the best friends ever. Please take care. I will take care. Where's your care? I'll take it anyway. No, okay, stop. <laughs> that joke was not a That joke did not have a good preposition. Oh, hello. Doggy. Go collect the name, give him a name. Mark! You look like Bitch Face! Here, Bitch Face, her tail is so cute! Oh man, I should have said Bitch Tits. I saw Fight Club recently, so. Bitch Tits has now become a permanent part of my vocabulary. Uh, now let's. This is where we came from, isn't it? No, 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 no it's not. What is this? Half Elves and a Cursed Girl. Are people. Half-elves and a cursed girl. Why are people like that all the way out here? It defeats the purpose of living quietly out in the country. Well, geez, if you're gonna be a racist. Freaking, okay, I'm just gonna walk around like Colette for the rest of this episode. Because that seems to be the only solution. This one is Sammy. Here, boy. Man, she just likes animals. Just in general. You look awesome. Man, the discrimination against half-elves in this village is intense. Of course, I don't like half-elves either, but when it's this bad, even I start to feel sick. Hey, someone with a someone's with a sensible mind. What do you know? Welcome to Nature's Kitchen. Here you can buy stuff. I'm not going to. 
Now you know though, so if you ever visit a set, you know where the main the main tourist attractions are. Also, this this place looks really cool. I love I don't know why, but I just love this ab what I I'm not sure if I'd call it abstract, but like this just stuff going up into the air really, just like this. This cur where you get a nice view of the rest of the country, the good landscape. I really like these kinds of places in games. It's like um it's like one of the reasons why I really love Xenoblade. Ugh. Just that's all over the place there. So many great views to be seen. So what's this? What's this hut? Oh my. Hi Caesar, without the hair. The set's craft work is famous, although lately we've been getting few customers. Probably because you're not advertising correctly. Like a certain company and their new console. Where did y'all come from? I never left the village. What, a dwarf? You mean the bearded man? If you're looking for the bearded man, he lives south of here. Go south. No, oh, that was a Casey, right? Forgot about that. And this is the weapon shop, am I right? And my recording just stopped. Why would you do that? Welcome to Tranquility. We also offer customization services. Now let's see if we can actually customize something for once. And, well, oh, we can. We can make silk gloves. Oh, man, that's hot. Let's make one. Or two. I guess we made two. Yeah, we're done. Alright, let's make, let's give the silk gloves to uh, whoever needs it the most, I guess. 103. 120. Eh, doesn't really make a difference. I like Sheena more, so there we go. Done. Done deal. Did you come to buy armor? Just so you know, I won't sell any to half-elves. Are you a little racist? Oh, Oh, freaking, I will destroy you. I will. I don't know. I'm not good at threatening people. Turns out, especially when I'm Colette, I don't know, she's just too happy to try to threaten people, I feel. Oh no! Abby, guests as well? Oh, I see. Prisea, we have to make a key crest for you. Yeah! My job awaits. Goodbye. Your job? Aren't you a little young for that? What? Only Prisea can retrieve the sacred wood used in the ritual at the church. <laughs> yeah, sacred wood. I'm quite pleased that she has finally risen. <laughs> this guy just screams evil. Like, there's no question about it. That man, he's a half elf. He is? <laughs> How could you tell? Now that you mention it, didn't we see him in Mel Tokyo too? We sure did. He's creepy. He's evil. I agree, but uh, I gotta say that I feel sorry for the guy. How so? He has to deal with the fact that there are magnificent specimens of males around like me. <laughs> oh, Celos. I'd say you two are on the same level. Oh, come on, Genus. That's on honestly not cool. I heard that, you little twerp. <laughs> yep. At any rate, we should have a talk with Prisea. Oh, hey, Regal is talking. Yeah. I like his contribution to the conversation. Yep, sad music is playing. Now I'm gonna go pretend this is a piano. <sighs> and smell. Mmm. Smells like cheese. And this is a piano now. Oh, no. Look. Oh, hey. Now this is my piano. Oh my. How horrible. Oh no. Did someone leave the potatoes hanging? What the? This is not cool. How could this happen? What? What are... Most likely the effect of x parasitism. What? Persea has no idea what's become of the person in that bed. Uh-oh. How could that... Not good. Persea, are you not coming with us? No, they're just sleeping. I must do my job. If I do my job, they'll wake up. Let's leave Persea here for now. No, why would you? Why would we do that? Here? Why does that make any sense? If we try to move her, she will just fight back. 
Oh, I, mean, I guess that may. I don't want to fight Perseo. Let's go see Altessa by ourselves to ask him about repairing the Keycrest. I guess that's fair. Yeah. All right, this is. Oh my! Can we? Can? Oh. Uh, sure. I'm sure they're just sleeping. Yes. Oh, poor Prisea. Her dad just doesn't want to wake up. If it's her dad. I'm honestly not sure. Oh, P Colette. Colette, are you alright? Ah, yeah, I stumbled. <laughs> I'm clumsy. Yeah, we established that about 50 episodes ago. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. What was the point of that? I don't know. But honestly, I'm not sure if I mind either. Look at... I said... Uh, it looks so cool. It looks like some kind of grass... Na nat some natural grass terrace. It's really cool. Okay, is this where Altessa lives? Well, I'm, I'm guessing so. Maybe we found the wrong Altessa's house. Maybe there are more Altessas. For all I know, Altessa might be a very common name here in Tetheala. Any any cool stuff we can find around here? No? Okay. Let's skip around into the house. This looks very much like a hobbit home. Just like browner or more more beige, I guess. Knock knock. Who's there? Altessa. Who is it? Ah! She speaks in caps lock! Uh, excuse us. We've heard that there's a dwarf living here. Is there any chance we could see him? As long as he doesn't speak in caps lock too, because that shit scares me. You desire a meeting no. with Master Altessa. Please, come inside. Siri, go home! Siri, tell me a joke. Badum. Your face. Oh, Siri. You silly goose. Whoa. Dude. Who are you, people? He looks just like one of the dwarves in The Hobbit. My name is Lloyd. Well, uh, he looks like, uh, what's his face? Uh, we come in regards to Persea. We heard about you from Kate in Cybac. Leave. Uh, what's his name? Isn't it, uh, um... Balin. He looks like Balin. I think that's his name. The old one. I think there's a fly in my room. I'm gonna have to kill that. By the way, uh... What? What? I don't want anything more to do with that girl. Get out of here. Well, aren't you just a rude bastard? You know, I remember you being a lot nicer in the movies. What was that all about? I apologize. Uh. The master does not want to get involved with Prasea. Well, that's that's fair, I guess. Why? She's she's a bit violent he sometimes. He doesn't care if she dies. That, however, is not okay. It is not that. It is because the master regrets what he has done. I am not capable of speaking in contractions. Then please. Save Persea? All she needs is for her key crest to be fixed. Not that big a right? deal. I do not know if that would truly be in her best interest. What? Why? That doesn't make any sense. How could anything be worse than living in that cruel condition while waiting to die? If you are that committed, then you should search for inhibitor ore. What that mean? Persea's key crest isn't made out of inhibitor ore? Correct. Her crest is... Tabitha, what are you doing? Get rid of them. Oh, uh, just real. Uh, Altessa's just a grumpy old man. I apologize. I must return. Please come back again. I will attempt to persuade him. Dang ass grumpy old man dwarf. You go, Siri. Go ahead and persuade that bitch. So, what do we do now? Where can we find the inhibitor ore? I've heard it's mined in the mountain range that extends between Altamira and the Ymir Forest. Ah, oh, Ymir Forest. I would like to help if you're going to create a key crest for Persea. I can lead you to the mine. Just oh. what is your relation to Persea anyway? <laughs> she my BFF. She is none. Yet you sure seem concerned about her. Well, either way, you haven't done anything suspicious so far. You're welcome to come along with us. Yes, yeah, so far. Inhibitor ore is found relatively near the surface of the X-Sphere mine. The mine I know of is across the sea from here, on the southern continent. You said Altamira, right? That place is awesome. Let's stop by there on the way. We don't have time to hang out at that gaudy resort. Aw. The sea? 
you going out to sea again? <laughs> Just look at her face. She looks so high. Like she smoked all the weed. Okay then, let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, let's hurry. Yeah. And then they just ca let's hurry, and then just By casually. The way, this has been bugging me for a while now. Haven't we met somewhere before? Nope. Fine, ignore me. Not very friendly, are you? No. No. Okay, I just wanted to point out. Let's hurry. Just walks away casually. Well, that's not very. <laughs> look at that. look at that walkie animation. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh. I love the walking animation in this game. Oh my goodness! Is Tabitha an angel? No, it's a it's a it's a gym exercise crafted by the devil himself. That's what it is. There's our Tabitha exercise. It's the worst. Almost killed me, man. I swear. Tabitha girl was a little strange, you know. Really? I didn't notice. How should I put it? She reminds me of you. When you had lost your heart and powder thing, except uh, Colette didn't speak in caps lock. Perhaps it is because she did not engage in respiration. Respiration? Are you saying she wasn't breathing? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Respirating is important. Are you serious? Wait, she wasn't breathing? I suppose you could have undergone heavy training, like up in the Tibetan mountains, for 12 years. Don't tell me she's an angel, too. She didn't have any wings. So... She didn't seem like a bad person. Well, she seemed like a better person than Altessa. I'll have you know that much. Grumpy old man. Dang, man. Alright, so, we need to head out to sea now. And, um... Uh, just in case you didn't guess all- we can just go visit Prisea, by the way. No, we're not gonna do that. I don't think we can even enter the house, so... If you didn't guess, there's quite a- we're quite a ways from being able to, uh... Go out on the ocean, because we need to do so on a dock. And we're not exactly close to one at the moment, so... I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. And I'm gonna go find a dock, and I'll meet you at sea. Yes! After this skit. Xverse mines. Oh, Xverse mines. I thought it was a comma there for some reason. What? Something wrong with that? You got a problem with that, Mister? Surely you know about it too. Xverse mines in the vicinity of Altamira. What else is there besides the Toys Valley mine? Toys, Toysy, to to Twas. Ah, the one that's connected to Tunnel to Moria. Moria. That's where Balin's tomb is! Holy shit. Guys. Tethiala is Middle Earth. Lazareno Company, but so what? I love her silly face. She just looks so. Whoa! What? <laughs> oh my. Well then? We've, uh, we've had quite a good time here today. We had some boob jokes. We had some, some, some death jokes. I think it's time to end this show. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys next time when I'm out at sea and well on my way to where we're supposed to be. Trust me, it's gonna be okay. I will see ye then. Goodbye.